I don't know what this angle is, guys, but just, you know what? It's what we're dealing with. Um, what's up? I'm making eggs. What's the matter? We're going to have lunch in a sec. Um, so, hi. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing fab. I have a very, very grumpy, teething little Marley with me today. Very grumpy. Very grumpy. Yeah, I'm actually making us some dippy eggs, which I have never done. I've never made Marley Dippy eggs before. In his whole like year of eating solids, nearly, I have never given him a Dippy egg. And I don't know why, because I swear down that's like every kid's favorite meal ever. Are you helping yourself to crackers? We're about to have lunch. You've got some crackers still on the, in your high chair from, but yeah so i'm making dippy eggs and then i'm actually going to do something which is actually insane to me and that is attempt to put marley down for his nap in his cot in his own bedroom for the very first time Hello. i have absolutely zero hope that it will be successful i do not think it is going to go well but you know what it's a start and it would just be nice to just kind of have like an hour to be able to keep on top of the house um i've just spoke about it literally in my last vlog about how i've just been really enjoying kind of keeping the house clean keeping on top of things and just having like a clean space like it's totally just made my mindset and my mood a million times better so i'm wanting to just kind of yeah it's just hard with a toddler like when he's awake he's at an age now where he's just wanting my absolute undivided attention which I, I do give him, like if he's awake, I would always prioritize playing with him or spending time with him, just doing anything with him over anything else, such as cleaning. So yeah, I just think if he was asleep and I could get stuff done. Anyway, I'm talking about this like it's actually gonna be successful. It's not, but I thought I'd bring you along and let you guys know how it goes. So we're just gonna enjoy our dippy eggs and then I'm choosing the worst day ever to do it as well because he is he is miserable today. He has literally just spent I've just had the gas man over like servicing like the boiler and the um the gas fire and stuff and he has literally just screamed for two hours. Um so terrible day to do it. But you know what we're gonna do it anyway and we will see how it goes. So yeah, fingers crossed. You slept for so long. You've been sweating. Did you sleep so well? Mummy is so proud of you. Guys, he actually just slept for about an hour and a half. Probably closer to two hours. In his big boy room for the first time. You did fab. So, because Marley Moo obviously was such a superstar today and slept for the very first time ever in his cot, I think we're going to go head to Costa and get like a little drink, maybe get him his first ever baby chino and then probably get like a cake and something to eat for like a little supper treat. So that's where we're heading now. And I also need to get some 
vintage parcels from the next town along so yeah change of plan guys so costa was shut which it shouldn't have been because it says on like online that it's open for an hour and a half but apparently it's not so we should have all the way here for literally nothing and i'm really angry about it um so i don't really know what we're gonna do jay's just nipped into the co-op and he's we're just gonna grab like a cheesecake have a cheesecake i guess maybe make a baby chino at home for him maybe we'll go to the park probably not it's getting late oh just me in a grump i guess <laughs> what noise do the fishies make? Clever boy. So cold. You don't want to go in there. Yeah, but we've got all the you is fine. <laughs> He's like, come on, guys. <laughs> you go, woof, woof. Guys, I am still so blown away by how fab Nile Disney's caught yesterday. I was going to kind of just keep you guys updated here because I didn't expect it to go well. So because it went well, I'm planning on kind of doing a whole separate video on that entire transition from contact napping to like sleeping in his own cot in his own bedroom. So I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. So if that is something you're interested in, that will be either on my channel or coming soon so yeah hi today though i so we have a christening this weekend <gasps> what's this oh we got a hat on we have a christening this weekend and i have absolutely nothing to wear so i've just got a few dresses that i found in my wardrobe as well as two dresses i got for pretty little thing which they aren't looking as good as they did on the models are we surprised and um, but yeah i'm gonna try them on and see if any of them are suitable. If not, I need to go shopping because this christening is in two days. So, yes. Let's pack on. So, this is the first dress. Um, Yeah, I'm not vibing. It's giving too much, like, bra. And it was a really lovely dress. I wore it for the announcement pictures. However, I've got a bit bigger since then in a few areas. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really vibing with this one. And it's definitely like, you can see my bra, I don't know, we aren't going braless, trust me. Um, I don't know what jacket I'll go with it, and I definitely need a jacket, because this is giving insecurities. Okay, so next dress, I'm actually kind of weirdly really liking this. Um, this was another dress I got for going on holiday, and um, I also got it for Mally's birthday party, I think. Um, obviously it's got the slit here which I don't know is that appropriate when you're like pregnant and for a christening for like a church Um, it fits which I'm surprised at and I just don't know if it's too dark all these dresses are like really dark I don't know if I should be wearing like dark clothes to a christening you do them all oh you are so clever look at that you did all of them God. you are very smart do you like mummy's dress? Exactly, it's similar. Next dress, I just, I don't think I can wear white to a christening. I don't think this is it. And also I just don't know if I feel comfortable having my legs out. I mean, I would have obviously tanned, but yeah, I don't think, I don't think this is giving I need something like colourful or floral but I just don't have anything. They only seem to have like white or like really dark colours. You put it on. Ah. There you go. Um, so yeah, I think this one's probably enough. Okay, so 
This is the next dress, which I think is my favourite so far, but I like the neckline, but it just doesn't go with any bras. And I, I just can't not wear a bra, like that's not a possibility. And I also can't like walk <laughs> very well in it. It's very tight around the legs. Um, and it's a bit baggy on the sleeves. It's just fitting really weird. It's like too baggy around here. Bit too tight here, bit too tight around the legs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's a bit long too. I don't plan on wearing heels. Like I'm a pregnant person. I am not about to be wearing heels. Um, but I also don't have any flats, so that's fab. Um, what do we think of this one? Hmm? Oh, I just wish it wasn't so baggy here. That's so frustrating. And then last but not least, I have this, which I just think is too formal. I think it's too dark and too formal for like a christening. I feel like this is more like, I don't know, award ceremony, like, it's just not giving christening vibes, but I kind of like it, but I also kind of don't. Also, if it's a hot day, I'm going to melt in this, but what do we think, huh? What are we thinking? Do you like it, Mally Moo? Yeah. It's like the bubble texture too, I don't know if I could do that. It does have sleeves with like thumb holes. I would probably not use them. Um, yeah, what are we thinking? I don't have a clue. I don't even have a clue. Mm -hmm.